the City of Vancouver Fire Rescue Services under my order uh, issued an order to the city. Specifically related to the imminent life safety risk that we deem as a department and myself as a chief to, um, to be a severe risk of loss of life and damage to buildings, to occupants within those buildings, and to those individuals on the streets. This extremely challenging situation has become even more complex. Our job is to balance the fire safety risk with the need of providing housing and compassionate care for some of our city's most vulnerable residents. We've had dedicated staff down there every single day that are working with um, our city partners um, to address some of those highest risk areas, to talk to the individuals that are uh, sheltering on the street, to provide fire safety education, to train them how to use fire extinguishers, and to, to relay the information on the risks that we're seeing. This is just one of the factors that we need to do, and, it's, and like I've said before, it's not a matter of if a fire is going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. We've seen a 110% increase in fires in our downtown east side area in the last five years. That's 4.4 fires a day. We've identified approximately 40 individuals who are among the most vulnerable and have shown a willingness to move indoors for the spaces that we currently have available and we will be moving them shortly. The most recent count found that there's 2,000 people without homes in Vancouver and that's why we've approximately 700 new supportive housing homes underway. Ultimately, we will only be able to address homelessness by also addressing the factors that lead people to become homeless, including poverty, the need for affordable rental housing, and the need for robust health services.